If arc PQR above is a semicircle, what is the length of the diameter PR? Well, first of all, we know that that diameter PR equals length A plus length B. So if we knew A and B together, we'd be, be able to figure out the diameter. But also, this diagram is rich in information. Let's call this point here T. Turns out that we have similar triangles. Triangle P T Q is similar to triangle Q T R. Okay, and that's because that angle has to equal that angle, and this angle here has to equal that angle there. And once we set up these similar triangles, we can set up proportions among the sides. Long leg over short leg, A over 2, equals long leg over short leg, 2 over B. We cross multiply this, what we get is A times B equals 4. And so what this tells us is if we know the value of either A or the value of B, we can find the other, and then we'd be able to add them and find the length of the diameter. So that's all rich information. This diagram is actually full of information. If geometry is something you're feeling a bit rusty on, if this is something you really haven't touched since puberty and would like a refresher, I highly recommend check out Magoosh.com. Magoosh.com is an online test prep agency. We have a few hundred videos in, on math, also a few hundred videos on the verbal side, and we will tell you everything you need to know about geometry. We will refresh your memory and get you up to speed so that you're able to handle all this stuff on the GMAT. Now, meanwhile, back to this question, statement number one tells us A equals four. It gives us a value of A, we can find B, we can find the diameter, done, this is sufficient. Statement number two, B equals one. Well, if we know the value of B, we can find a value of A, we can find the diameter, we're done, this is also sufficient, and the overall answer is D.